Scotland would not survive this aspect of Japanese culture. Sometimes JTEs with good English are worse. This meme hurts my soul. And that has really made me question what I'm doing here now. Hello and welcome back to my channel where I talk about Japan and the JET program. So if either of those things interest you, then be sure to subscribe. It's been a minute, but I'm back. Three week-ish break from YouTube, which was kind of just unavoidable, but also very necessary for me and my mental state of being. <laughs> and I'm back again for the fourth time looking at memes from the JET program memes Facebook page. So let's look at some memes, let's laugh together, and let's see what they reveal about life in Japan or on the JET program. Me talking about 20 year old anime shows that the kids have never seen. Wow, I feel personally attacked right now because this is literally me anytime I bring up Digimon in class. Don't even get me started. Coincidentally, Digimon just had its like 20th anniversary not long ago, so like. So Agumon Digivolved to Greymon again. Which was the style at the time? I learned in my first year to dial it back because in my first year I had a lot of like Digimon references in my like PowerPoints and worksheets and stuff. But the kids either it goes over their head, they're like, what is this? I don't know this. Or they're just like, oh, girl, you're a joke. Oh This actually made me feel really old, but in one roleplay test, I was talking to one student and we were roleplaying a situation where they have to talk to a foreign student at university. So they were talking to me as if I was a student. And one thing they asked me was, oh, what's your favorite anime? And I naturally said, oh, it's Digimon. And their knee jerk reaction without a moment's hesitation was, oh, Hazukashi. Just for those of you who don't speak Japanese, that means, well, that's embarrassing. And that it was. <laughs> I'm like, do you know I'm testing you right now? That's also not English, sir. Use English. <laughs> Ikemen HRT keeps asking me to make an alternative lesson plan for the Olympic section of our textbook in case it gets cancelled. There's not going to be an Olympic cancellation. You stupid slut. Phenomenal. Perfect content right there. I think what makes it so funny is that last year this meme was circulating with the exact opposite meaning of there's not going to be any Olympics next year, you stupid slut. And now it's like, oh, oh shit, okay, they really, they really want to do this. <laughs> It is wild that between another state of emergency in Tokyo and the fact that hospitals are running out of space again, they are still going ahead. Oh, it looks like we have some clowns. That's the topic for another video. I'm not gonna deep dive into that. Ordering the food in fluent Japanese, friends and family. Yep. <laughs> to explain, typically when friends and family visit you in Japan, they're very impressed with your Japanese, whether you know Japanese or not. And in this uh, this meme here, you can see on Homer's back, all clipped and forced together, are the phrases which I will read out to you for ordering food. And the first one is maybe a bit hard if you don't know Japanese, so I'll just uh, tell you that one. I'll give you the answer for free. Eto is just the Japanese equivalent of like, um... And it does become quite natural to you when you've been here for a while, so like, people do be like, thinking, oh, you, you speak Japanese, I'm literally just thinking. Um, I don't know, I just... But the other ones, let me know in the comments how many you understand if you don't speak Japanese to begin with. So we have Kora, Cheese Baga Setto, Erusaizu, Potato, Ice Cream. Could you hear what they are? I bet you could get at least three of those. Leave her drinking my fourth watered down lemon sour, mourning the loss of Nomi Hodai as I go back to America. Let's just take a moment to mourn with this lever because that is very upsetting. I'm going to miss Nomi Hodai so much when I go back to Scotland. And if you don't know what Nomi Hodai is, it is basically all you can drink. And that includes alcohol. Usually you pay like a tenner or so for an hour or sometimes even two hours depending on the place. You can drink as much alcohol from the Nomi Hodai menu as you want. And a lemon sour is just a typical alcoholic drink in Japan. I'm gonna miss it so much. But what I will say is that I'm glad we don't have that in Scotland because like, can you imagine? We, we would be dead. <laughs> Scotland would not survive this aspect of Japanese culture. We would 
all be extinct by now. Actually, when I first arrived in Japan, and I think this is a very typical of foreigners who are experiencing nomi hora in Japan for the first time, is that, you know, you're so, you, it's such a foreign concept for a lot of us that like, in the moment, we're like, well, well if, if we can take more, we have to take more. We have to take full advantage of the situation. We have to get every penny's possible worth. And you're like, no, 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 no. Oh my God. I thought this was a classy party. Then before you know it, it you, you're past the point of going back. It's too late. You are a broken person. <laughs> yeah, some messy nights in that first year. Sometimes JTEs with good English are worse. Plot twist. What is this meme from? I don't know which, where I'm gonna put it. Where is this meme from? I want you to like play a video of whatever that bit is, but I don't know what it's from. I don't know what to search. So comment below if you know. Um, but anyway, a lot of ALTs typically complain that JTs have pretty bad English, which is a fair complaint. But what about the JTs with good English? They'll get you. And let me tell you how. Unless you came here as someone who had a lot of teaching experience, teaching English, or you know, you studied English at university or something, a lot of us, we don't know all the technical rules and words and stuff to describe how English works. We just know inherently what's right and wrong because it's natural to us. So especially during test time, I'll have a teacher come over and be like, yo, this shouldn't put this answer. It's not quite what the model answer says, but is this okay? And I'll be like, oh yeah, that's fine. And they'll be like, why? And I'll be like, cause, cause it is. Or if they disagree, they'll be like, oh, but what about blah, blah, blah. And they'll start talking about all these technical English words and rules. And I'm just like, well, I don't know about any of that. <laughs> Came to the wrong person, friend. The student's trying to leave the classroom at the end of the school day only to be intercepted by the ALT looking for some impromptu English conversation practice. And then we have this delightful uh, gif here of Lady Dimitrescu. Phenomenal content, very my vibe content. If you don't know who Lady Dimitrescu is, then have you not been online for like last year? In any case, she is one of the bosses of the new Resident Evil game. But that's besides the point. This tall vampire lady is very intimidating and scary. That is the point. And I think it's very fitting for me as a tall human being. Literally when I'm walking down the corridor and there's students walking towards me, I can feel the tension in them as they get more and more nervous getting closer to me. The really brave ones, they'll be like, hello, but kind of just like as we're parallel, so it's too late to stop for conversation. Then all I hear is like giggles behind me. It's like a weird echo of giggles. <laughs> when a JTE who contributes nothing to your classes gives you a compliment. I'm so proud of you. Your approval means nothing to me. Factual information. Let me tell you why. So like, especially in first year, someone who has no teaching experience or had no teaching experience, I really wanted some feedback on my lessons and stuff. Like, how can I make them better? What didn't work? What couldn't the students quite get? What was difficult for them? And the only answers I got, like 99% of the time were, oh no, it was perfect, it was so good. Take a rest, thank you very much. Perfect job, well done, blah, blah, blah. And like, you'd think that's nice to hear, but I'm like, I know this was not a perfect lesson. There's impossible. There's no way I would have got it right, right off the bat. Please help me. I don't want you to slag me off. I just want some constructive criticism. But you know, Japan is known for being super polite. That's part of their culture. And I assume that's where that comes from. And so, you know, they say stuff like that so often that now when a JTE praises me or gives me a compliment on a lesson well done, it really is meaningless. Okay, so this is my favorite meme format right now. I see a lot of memes using this format on Jet Program Memes, and it's not necessarily specific to Jet, but certainly when I'm doing work, when I'm making PowerPoints especially, I come across this issue all the fucking time. So it's a Star Wars meme, it's Anakin and Padme. If you know, you know. So we have Anakin. I'm a PNG, you can download me. And you're transparent, right? And you're transparent, right? Or should I say, er, transparent, right? <laughs> Oh, trying to get a clear image to put onto your PowerPoint, which has a nice colored background. I don't want a white box. Furious, furious at Google. You know, you get that gray and white checkered box in the background and you think, perfect, here's what I want. And then- No, God! 
No, God, please, no! I'll put a few more of those memes up so you can pause and look at them if you want. How it feels when friends, family, excitedly tell you they got the vaccine already. Oh, look, Lady Dimitrescu is back. How fun. This is just so accurate. <laughs> you know, when I talk to my parents and they're like, oh, you know, they're trying to pull people off the street to vaccinate them. Anyone can go at any time. They're desperate for more people to come and get vaccinated. And I'm just like, let me come. Japan is so slow. <laughs> I do have my vaccination booked. The first dose should be the 26th of this month. I'm very excited. Hopefully it won't run out because supposedly in Kobe there was a huge shortage and a mass like cancellation of appointments for the you know what. I heard, don't quote me on this, but I heard the reason is because they didn't have much supply due to believing that not that many people would want the vaccine. Again, this is just something I heard. I do have no evidence for this, but God help us if it's true. <laughs> Me talking to friends back home about my job as an ALT. Are you just gonna do stupid bullshit for the rest of your life? You mean for work or like in general? I this meme hurts my soul. So there are people who come here for, you know, career or future plans based reasons. They wanna live in Japan forever and Jet's a stepping stone or, you know, they wanna be a teacher and this is good experience or, you know, anything, something like that. But I think a lot of people as well, including myself, come here as a career break or because you're between stages of your life and you don't really know what to do next. It's kind of just like putting your life on hold, taking an extended break to do something different. You know, we're getting life experience. But yeah, then I see my friends back home and they're starting to get married and settle down and buy houses, start to build their careers. And I'm just here like, <laughs> You're upset because you're jealous? Period. Uh-uh, I'm out, I'm out. Jealous of what? Your ugly leather <gasps> pants? No, 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 no. no. No, no, said, no, ugly leather pants, ugly leather Don't get me wrong, I have no regrets whatsoever. This is what I wanted and I've had a phenomenal time. I'm going into fourth year now and I don't want to be a teacher in the future and I don't want to live in Japan in the future. So I'm just like, someone help me. This video is a cry for help. But I will say as well, especially like with this last year, as we all know, has been kind of boring. Everything was cancelled. Everything's been low key. And that has really made me question what I'm doing here now. Because it's not like I'm experiencing much. I've gotten as much out of teaching as I'm gonna. I can't really travel that often. I'm not going out to do things and experience culture so much. So I'm literally just in this boring routine in a job that is fine but it's not what I want to do. That does cause stress. <laughs> Actually, part of the reason I took a break from YouTube recently is just because, well, I'm so unenthusiastic about Japan, or I was for a while. I just had nothing I wanted to talk about or make a video about. I was very creatively burnt out and I needed just some time to relax and stuff. Hopefully I can keep the creativity going now that I'm back. <laughs> Feeling positive today. Today. Let's see about tomorrow. And on that positive note, we're gonna leave it there. Did anything surprise you? Did you learn anything surprising about life in Japan or in the JET program? If you did, comment it below. I wanna know. If you like this video in general, then click that like button. I really, really do appreciate that. And if you wanna see more meme videos probably in the future or about my life in Japan in general or on the JET program, all the usual stuff, then go ahead and subscribe. And for behind the scenes content or sometimes early access to my videos or you know help with the JET application and so on, you can check out my Patreon page, which is linked in the description. And that's it for today. Okay, bye. <laughs>